I'm sorry, but I seriously have to question some things in this game sometimes. I mean, not by popular belief. I don't like any kind of glitches, any kind of nerfs, anything like that in the DZ. I, I don't like that for even PvE or PvP. I can't stand any of this stuff. But at the same time, I'm that same guy who, I'm going to go out here, I'm going to test this, I'm going to see what it's like. I'm going to see if this thing is real. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to make sure that if I can, I'm going to give my feedback to the devs to try to fix this stuff as much as possible because it needs to end because it's not the player's fault half the time. These devs literally allow these things to get out here and players either find out about it and there's sometimes i swear to god even like right now the invisibility glitch which has now become a big topic which has actually been known about almost two weeks ago ladies and gentlemen we there's a few of us who actually came out here and told the devs nearly two weeks ago that this stuff was out here okay now mind you just yesterday Two big content creators are like, oh my God, they're going to be banning people for this right here. Y'all need to know about this. Don't be using this. Dude, you're just now getting this information because another guy said something and then you said something. We've been telling these devs about this for over two weeks. Okay? Y'all are behind. And what pisses me off the most is the devs don't listen to little guys like me. But they'll listen to the bigger content creators because they have more pool. We could have fixed this or addressed this a while back. But no, you don't even give us the time of day and we're trying to help you fix this game. Okay? We're trying to give you the intel that we find and fix this game and you don't listen to us. It's completely fucked up. Okay? So I'm going to show y'all how easy this is the good sides and the bad sides of it and maybe just maybe the devs will see where it is that the fault is and maybe it'll, they'll be able to patch this i don't care if i lose my shit or not if y'all want to share this to the devs by all means share it to them because i want this thing fixed so the first step is fast traveling from the white house now Here's where I've found it doesn't always work. People try to do this and it doesn't fail because they get this. It's a loading deal. So when I get one of these loading things, it means I'm not going to get it to work. Why? Access I don't granted. know. So I come over here. I try to open the door. It automatically range opens. Limited. Okay. No big deal. I go right back in. All right. Cool. Exiting so it didn't zone. work. So if I want this thing to work, all I have to do is this. Go back to the White House. And this is what we've noticed, it always works for every Echo Door. If I do it to uh, DZ West, DZ East, DZ South, every Echo Door this works, no problem. All the other ones, not so much for Xbox. Now, if I come back down here to an Echo Door, just like this, as you see, I've got manhunts right here, and I'm gonna show how easy and how bad this can be, how good this can be as well. Because again, devil's advocate. I can't say it's all bad and I can't say it's all good. Access complete. But I come over here, I hit the door once, nothing. I hit the door twice and I hold X right there, it opens up. Position now, when limited. I turn around, I hold Proximity X, it gives only. me the full load, but I hear a beep beep like on my watch. So that means it worked. All I have to do now is this simple. I have to go to a safe house. That's it. Now, there are two safe houses, or one safe house, that only one door works. This safe house, both side doors work. And then DZ West, that one also works as well. I'm just detected. gonna show this one because I don't want this all over Rogue every single hive DZ. Detected. Though I know which doors they are. Hey look, here's also a player. How you doing, sir? So I just come up here, I hit this, and boom, you hear that little watch thing. I'm invisible. Now, I am 100% invisible. I put on hazard protection because that's the only thing that can kill a player, is hazard protection. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is. I swap this build out 
I'm going to walk right up here to these guys that are going rogue. They're not even going to see me. I guarantee it. See them up there? Yep. We're just going to go stroll right by them. I've got my trap build on. If I wanted to kill these guys, I easily could kill these guys. No problem. Nearby agent has gone huh. rogue. Yeah, y'all just shooting it out. Kill. Rogue agent nearby. Be a little fly on the wall. Watch this game. Damn, rogue he got destroyed, didn't he? Detected. Oh look, they got the blue armor, so there's a player Hostile nearby. They detected. could tell. That player came right out the door. I'll take that burn. Yep. They hit me with burn. See? Oh, watch this. I'm going to shoot over here. Nope. Nothing. Oh, look. Blue armor. They know there's a player nearby. Yeah, I could have killed these guys. I still could kill these guys right here. But that's the bad thing. There are players who would come out here and purposely kill people. Now, the good thing to this is, guess what? I can go out here as invisible and invaded and walk out here and hit the boxes. Now, I could be in a landmark right out here. I'm going to switch to a build that actually does some damage so I have some survivability Rogue against the ads detected. because the ads can still see you. Hostile hive I'm going to go right over here and see if there's a box. Because guess what? Now that I'm invisible, nobody can shoot me. I can walk right out here and, you know, go hit that box. Go hit the other box over there. Rogue agent detected. If it's open and available. I'm free to do that without getting shot by players. So is that a bad thing? No. It makes it where some people who don't want to PvP but they want to come into the dark zone can go out here and do this kind of thing. So again, devil's advocate, is it a bad thing? Yes. Is it a good thing? Also yes. So that box was open. Let's go over here to this box. If there's a player here, Betty won't see me. If there's not a player here, just imagine if there was, I grab the box before he gets there. Boom, instantly get a free exotic component. And all I had to do was touch doors. Box right there, but it's open. So again, here's a box right here. Look, I can rogue up. The player won't see me because I'm out of keys. Oh, I'm rogue, but I'm able to get a box without anybody shooting me? Cool. Now detecting there's, contaminated say there's gear. a player right behind me. I roged up. I opened the box. Oh, I'd be dead. I can go over here, get another box. Same thing. So, again, it's a player's choice if they're going to engage somebody and shoot them. It's also a player's choice if they're being shot at helping their buddies. There's another choice where they can just run out here and do this kind of thing, open these boxes freely without having to worry about another player and get the exotics that they've wanted and again i'm not saying this is a good thing for anybody to do but the fact of the matter is devs we have told you about this for literally two weeks corky7 me have messaged y'all we got one reply We're like yeah we we know about it and that's it. Nothing of, hey, we're looking to fix it. What do you guys think? Nothing like that. The guys who are actually telling you what we found, what we think might be doing it, you don't even bother with us. We are literally trying to tell you this stuff. So since you don't want to reply to me or him, he posted the video. But someone who actually found this posted it before him. So my question to you developers is this who is putting this coding and stuff into the game allowing for the damage glitch allowing for the invisibility glitch 
allowing for the immortal glitch. There's three glitches in this game. I'm just showing this one. There's three glitches in this game. Could you imagine right now if someone was immortal, invisible, and could one-shot people with the weakest gun in the game? Right now, think about that, devs. Who on your staff is putting these things into the game? I am not worried about the ban because if you ban me or something like that, that's fine. I will literally go find another game because I've had enough of this bullshit that all I want is this game fixed and you won't even fix it. You allow someone on your staff to put these things into the game and you don't even test it and you let it pass and go out there without actual proper testing. And players find these things and you get pissed off at the players, not your own staff. Who is it that's doing this coding on this game that it's allowing for these glitches to come into it? Whoever that person is needs to be fired. That's what you need to find out, devs. Oh yeah, and on another fucking note... Back in TU-16, do y'all remember the uh, bank headquarters where it had a loot cave and everything else where you got a bunch of XP? Well, these guys right here are kind of pissed off that you're about to take that away, but that's also an exploit. Loot caves are an exploit. So since back then in TU-6, uh, you said that uh, loot caves are an exploit, are you going to ban people for using exploits like that? Huh? What is it, devs?